Digital products can be anything like a PDF, ebook, template, guide. There are so many possibilities. In fact, I'll link to a video where I talked about over 17 digital download products that you can create today. And by the way, I know some of you were like mad that I combined some of them. So we have another video coming soon all about more digital download products that you can create. But today I'm talking about how to actually create this product step by step. Once you have a rough idea of what it is that you're going to be selling, the first step is to break down what kind of result you will help your buyers to achieve through your digital download product. For example, in my online shop called The Contract Shop, I sell lots of different contract templates for different niches, and each one of those contracts helps you to work with clients in just minutes. And so the result that I bring for people is making sure that they have a valid legal document that they can bring to a client that makes them look professional and put together, but also covers both their interests and their clients' interests. So a very specific result, and then I kind of layer the niche of what that person is, the service that they provide right on top of that product. I had a client last year, her name is Sophie Heron, and she created funeral programs and different kinds of graphic design templates that you would need in the event of someone's untimely demise, or timely, I guess, if they are of the age where that thing happens. But she served a very specific market of people that are grieving, they need something easy because their mind is on other things. And they're kind of over that really boring, really ugly, old, dated funeral program and stationery that comes with it. They want to help honor their loved ones that have passed with these beautiful pieces of digital design that can be passed around to commemorate their life. Yet another example is another client I've worked with in the past. Her name is Carrie and she has the SOP shop. And in her shop, she sells all kinds of templates to help you get started and going with your business and streamlining that, making it more efficient. And so you can go to her shop and download things in just a fraction of the time that it would take for you to figure this out on your own or even to take a course on it and then to develop your own SOPs, standard operating procedures, in the same way and fashion that she has because she has so much expertise. So she's just handing you that expertise in a digital download product. Now that you have a pretty good idea of what digital download product you're going to create and the result that you're going to get for your audience, it's time to move on to step number two, which is survey your audience. Before you create anything, it's really important to find out whether your audience actually wants to buy that product. It's also to figure out what container is best for your audience for that product. So for example, using my shop, I created a Contracts 101 workshop way back in the day and I was like, wait, this is a terrible idea. Nobody wants to sit here on a whole Saturday. That's what it was gonna be, an in-person live workshop on a Saturday. No one wants to sit there and spend their beautiful spring Saturday in Atlanta, Georgia. It was like gorgeous outside. <laughs> No one wanted to spend that with me learning about contracts and liability and blah, 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 right? Like we start to hear the Charlie Brown voice. Instead, what if I could just hand them the result through an efficient template rather than an online course or a workshop? And that's exactly what I did. And that's the premise of my entire shop as well as many of my clients. Let's go back to Sophie's funeral program templates. If she was giving me some sort of guide or an ebook about how to create those templates, that would not work for her audience and that would not sell. Instead, she's giving them the actual templates themselves and that's why those are selling. If you're gonna give someone a template for Asana, make sure it's already made in Asana and they can just one click copy paste upload. If you're going to create some sort of ebook, make sure that your audience has enough time and energy to dedicate to consuming that ebook. If your audience doesn't have the bandwidth to consume the content that you are trying to sell, then they're not going to buy it in the first place. If you can accomplish the same thing with a checklist or a template, and the checklist is faster and easier, definitely go with the checklist rather than the template. Once again, it's all about that first step, getting them a great result. One last little tip here as you're surveying and finding out this information about your audience, pay particular attention to the types of phrases and words that they are using. And even if you wouldn't describe your products in that way, for example, I had an ebook early on that was called Legalize Your Biz, and I hated that phrase. 
But even though I wouldn't use that phrase to describe getting my business legit and like legal 101 type stuff, that's what they were using and that's the language that resonated. So when I put an ebook out that was the exact same ebook called Legal 101 versus Legalize Your Biz, guess which one sold better? Legalize Your Biz, because that's the language that they were using. Pay particular attention to this because your audience is your best copywriter. Now that you have that super solid foundation, the third step is to decide what you're going to use to create your digital download product. And immediately Canva comes to mind, but I actually don't like Canva. All of my digital download products start in Google Docs first. And that sounds kind of crazy, but next week I'm actually gonna be breaking it down and showing you exactly how I sell my digital download products that are created from a Google Doc. So you'll wanna make sure that you are subscribed and you don't miss that. Canva is great for a finished final design of your product after it's been selling for a few months, but it's not my favorite. Google Docs is actually my favorite program to create a new digital download product in because it's free. It's got a very low learning curve, whereas Canva took a little while for me to figure out. I know it's not as hard as Photoshop, but it was still some learning curve there. And Google Docs is also readily accessible and available everywhere. Plus, if you want, you can give people a copy of your digital download product to make it really easy for them to start checking things off because Google has checklists, or you can make it super easy for them to start filling out and sending things if it's a template, for example. Don't worry, I'm gonna cover all of that next week. I'm gonna show you behind the scenes, a broken down tutorial of that, so you won't wanna miss it. Step four is to pre-sell your product, and this is the step that almost everyone misses because they're scared. And if you're scared to pre-sell, there are plenty of videos on this channel that walk you through the process and how to actually do it. But I just wanna remind you that pre-selling is the only way to validate your offer, your product, to find out if people like it and to get some feedback about why it's not selling as well as it could be or if it's selling really well. I have a student in one of my coaching programs right now and she's doing amazing, but she's also getting great feedback as her product sells like wildfire. And it's been so fun to watch her collect that information and continue to improve the products. Now, mind you, some of this feedback might be a refund request or two. She's only had one and she's sold dozens of products just by putting them on pre-sale. So this is something that can not only light a little fire under your booty if you have trouble with procrastination to get things out there into the world because if it's pre-sold and someone already paid you for that product, you can bet that you're actually gonna get it done and out there into the world. But also it can help you to fast forward your growth by making it the best possible product so that lots of people are able to buy it and share it with their friends and then just continue that buying cycle. And fifth and finally, I know we covered this a little bit in the last step, but you will want to directly ask for feedback. And this is super scary, but it's the best way to make sure that you reduce refund requests because if people feel like you really care about them and their experience with your product, they are less likely to ask for a refund because they know that you're in it with them. And the way that I ask for feedback is just a couple days after purchase, I'll send an automated email. So my system will track, okay, they purchased on this date. We're going to send it three days later or five days later, whatever you want. I think I send mine 14 days later. So it's quite a bit after, but I just asked them, is there anything that I could have done to make this purchase a little bit better for you, easier? Is the product good? Is there anything you would change? And I use that feedback, I incorporate it. And now after over 8,000 sales, almost 9,000 at this point, I have so much feedback that has improved my products to the point where we have a less than 2% refund request, which is just like unheard of. Because remember, my shop has a 14 day any reason refund policy. So to have about a 2% or a little less than 2% refund rate is crazy. But it's because we did the work early on to collect this feedback, improve the products, and make sure that they were something that people were really excited about buying. My biggest piece of advice for you is do not overcomplicate this process. It's like taking a test when you were younger. If you forget something or you don't know how to do something, just skip that step to the best of your ability and keep going because you can fill it in later. And if you want a roadmap that just takes you by the hand and shows you exactly how to do this, make sure you check the description box below. It has my ultimate digital download product creation guide. I know that's a mouthful, but that is the roadmap that's gonna show you my steps to get this started and out the door. And you can use it alongside this video to make sure that you have everything, all your dies 
dotted and T's crossed. I almost messed those up. That way you make sure that you have everything you need to have a best-selling product. Bye everyone.